Okay, I realized I was looking through both videos and I realized that there is one car out here, one of my vehicles that I've never actually done a video on. And so we're going to do them. And no, nope, it's not the GMC, it's still sitting here. I still haven't gotten around to it. It's this. This is one of two Fords I own. Um, the other one is at my former stepmother's house. This is a 1970 Ford F100. Ranger XLT. That one of my children decided to come out here and paint on. So this truck used to belong to my brother. He bought it in 1995 I think and drove it for several years and then he bought something else and I drove it for a while and then the uh, motor came up with a problem and uh, he gave it to my dad and my dad let it sit for a long time and then uh, my dad gave it to me he, and it's been here and it's set. Well, last time it was on the road was in 2000. And there's a good reason why we, I haven't really done anything with it up to this point. And it's because of this. Um, This thing had a camper shell on it, one of those old aluminum camper shells that the guy bought when he bought the truck brand new. I, my brother was second owner. And it leaked, as you can see. And it rusted the bed out in the tailgate. The cab up there is pretty bad. It's rusted through the outside. The cab corners aren't that bad. The fenders are. But that's typical for this model of Ford truck. Ooh, spices have been living in here. Well, you can see the seats. Nope. Pretty good. Let's see. It says 46,924 miles on it. It's a Ranger XLT. Got a cloth seat. Um, Three-speed automatic transmission. I believe it's a C4, but it might be a C6. I'm not 100% positive. Um, yep, the keys to it. This is one thing that Ford definitely has over Chevrolet. That door shuts perfectly. Um, I pushed it down here a couple of years ago and really haven't done much with it. But I have a 1973 model that I inherited from a cousin who passed away. And uh, the title on that was all in limbo and everything, but that's gotten straightened out now, so I'm getting it. And uh, I think I'm going to put the two of them together because it's got a perfectly good engine and transmission. Um, I think I'm going to put the two of them together, and then I'm going to probably sell it. Uh, get it back up there. But this is the the front of it. The hood is bent because one day I was driving it to work and the hood latch failed and the dang thing popped up on me. It didn't break the windshield though. Uh, it's got a... Here's that me camera man for a minute.
got a 360 Ford, in, Ford V8 in it that is locked up. Like I said, the hood came up, it baked the hinges and everything. And that was right before we quit, I quit driving it. Um, oh, I'm probably going to do something with this thing pretty soon. I've got a 351 to go with it. Clean it up real good. I uh, replaced the. I probably put the bed from the '73 on here and replaced the front fender. You mean the ones on that truck there? No, the other Ford I have that's not here. Mm. But this is it. This is the one vehicle that's here that I've never done a video on. Um, there's not much to do on it. Motor's locked up because the freeze plugs popped out of it, and it sat and sat and sat and sat and sat, and then it seized up. Um, I tried to get it freed up a couple of years ago, but couldn't. I may try again, and then may just sell it outright and then fix the other one up because it's in better shape. I haven't decided. Um, I have too many projects, not enough time, not enough money. But anyway, that is my 1970 Ford F100. I believe it's an F100, I'm assuming. I think it is. It's an XL, Ranger XLT. Um, I always kind of like this truck because this thing rode like a Cadillac. Um, compared to my 70 model Chevrolet, this thing rode awesome. It was quieter, more comfortable. Um, but even though this thing had an actual bigger cubic in cubic inch engine, it was gutless. Didn't have half the power that that old Chevrolet up there has, and uh, with an automatic transmission in it. And uh, I believe this has three. 323 or 308 gears in the rear end. It run down the highway all right, but it was gutless for doing anything I wanted to do with it. But it rode good. So, I don't know. I might be willing to sell it if somebody was willing to offer me a decent price for it. And uh, if you offer me enough of it, I'll give you both trucks. So, there it is. And say bye, Zach. Bye. That's it. GMC. GMC. Already took a video on that one. Yeah, we did that one. Here we are out in the South 40. Huh, look, it's a cab. My neighbors have a cab. That's a Ford early 80s. Yeah. Sitting right there. Looks like a Ford Ranger cab. Uh, I love living in the country. Dead tree, which I need to come cut down before it falls down. Tires. Hmm. I guess I need to come move this forward before that tree falls on it. And that's it. Bye. It's too cold.